I'm Kurt Anderson, and I am here at the Cooper Hewitt Museum with Mr. Milton Glazer. Milton, welcome. Great to see you again. Um, is, is it true one of your best known uh, things you designed, the I Love New York logo? I have several, many questions about that, but is it true that began as a sketch in a taxi? It didn't begin that way. What happened was I did a logo. Uh, I had that today, it was just two sort of ovals uh, with the words in between. It was submitted to the commission. The state commission. Yeah. The state commission, yeah. I guess a half a dozen guys or something. By an assistant uh, commissioner named Bill Doyle, who's still a friend. Uh, Bill called me and said they accepted it. And I was going to work, I was living on uh, uh, 67th Street, going down to the studio on 32nd. And I said, you know, that's not right. And I had a little piece of paper and pencil. And I did this most obvious thing in the world, I hard New York. And I called Bill up and I said, Bill, I have a better solution. He said, don't bug me. He said, you don't know how hard it is to get these guys together. I said, let me show it to you. And I went down to his office. I said, this is what it has to be. He said, you're right. This wow. is better. He called. He reconvened. This is so absolutely unusual in civic life. He reconvened the group. They said, you're right, that's better. And they turned over their earlier decision for it and instituted this one. And, and people should know, uh, and we should for the record, that this idea of heart as a, as a symbolic expression of the verb love did not exist. That wasn't a thing until you made it a thing. You can't believe that it wasn't. I know. It doesn't make any sense I that it wasn't. I, I, I tell my children that. I, tell, I, or I regularly say, you know, this didn't always exist. When I was a child, we didn't heart thing. No. You would carve a heart with two initials in yes. it. Yes. Yeah, but, but it was not, a, it was not, not an action same. verb. Not an action verb. Well, it, it changed from a, a noun to a verb. Yes, exactly. And that changing a, a language, the meaning of language is yeah. something. But, uh, and... There are, I always, the reason that it's interesting, because it looks banal and simple, is that there are three puzzles you have to solve. One is that the I is a word. Uh -huh. Two is our heart is a symbol for an emotion. And yeah. three is that New York initials for a place. Yeah, right. And so you look yeah. at it and you have, but everybody can do it. Yes. I mean, no one gets puzzled by it. They see it, they understand it, even though they've gone through this mental process. No, it was one, it, it is one of those, uh, just, it's, it's a great example of a eureka moment that you had. It is. <laughs> you know, it is and one, one doesn't have that many of them in life, but no. that was definitely one. Okay. And, and the font you use, that typewriter-ish font, American typewriter, was new at the time. That was, well, it had been around yeah. for a while, yeah. but, but what, what I always say to students particularly is that the uh, aesthetic effect is of the rigidity of the black, you know, almost jail-like force. Uh -huh and the uh, erotic sensuality of the heart. Right. And those two things sort of fighting each other is part of the effect of this. Yeah.